Hey YouTube, it's Ambic Zero. Um, so I'm thinking we should start some web design tutorials. I know it's a little off track of what we normally do, but the more information you have in your head, uh, the more you know, the more you can do. Um, so I really enjoy web design. Um, if you understand it better, you will uh, be able to do more things in the hacker side of what we normally do, uh, if you know how everything works. But uh, web design is actually really fun. Um, you can also make a decent amount of money from it. It's a valuable skill. Um, and it's it's actually fairly easy once you get into it. Um, but what you're going to need is some type of uh, editor. You could very easily use Notepad um, and just save as a .html file. But there's two other um, options I would highly recommend. Um, one would be Notepad++. Um, we've used this in tutorials before. It's just like regular Notepad, but it has syntax highlighting. Um, so I highly recommend that, um, and that's free and open source. If you have Dreamweaver, I also recommend that. To be honest, I have Dreamweaver and Notepad++. I probably go into Notepad++ uh, more often. And in Dreamweaver, you can do a lot of uh, cheating. There's a lot of like little shortcuts that Dreamweaver has built in that you can take. Um, I don't know how to use those most of, mostly, um, because you really should know how to do it by hand anyway. Um, if you're using Dreamweaver to make the website for you, it, it doesn't really do anything for you. So, either way, I would go with Dreamweaver or Notepad++. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Dreamweaver because it has an autocomplete option, uh, make everything go a little smoother, and uh, if you don't know something, it can kind of refresh your memory. So, I'm going to be loosely going over what is written down at w3schools.com. Um, here they have a whole curriculum basically for um, HTML so I'm gonna do this basics tutorial and then I'm gonna kinda jump ahead in the next one so if you wanna take it upon yourself to go to w3schools.com and uh, you know start making some websites they have a lot of cool things where you can try out HTML and edit it right on their website um, so if you wanna go ahead and just kinda like read through here when you're done with this and and try your own stuff uh, it would probably help you out a lot so let's go ahead and get started if you're Notepad++ just go to File, New, and then go up to Language, go down to H, and HTML, and that will set up your syntax highlighting. But I'm going to be in Dreamweaver, so I'm just going to create a new HTML file, and it's going to put in everything I need for me already. Um, I will copy and paste this into the description for you, so if you're using Notepad++, you can use this, it'll just get you started. Um, so let's take a look at what we're looking at. To start HTML, you have what is known as a tag, and basically your styles. So everything is with inside a tag, and you you open a tag and close a tag uh, in a very specific uh, order. So let's take a look at this. Let's uh, start from here because it's the most important. Uh, well, you don't actually need anything above here, but it's recommended. So here is the head of my uh, document. Anything inside of the head tag which ends right here where it says slash head is not actually visible on the actual web page. This is where you keep your metadata, your style sheets, which we will get into later. Um, we're not going to be going over those anytime soon. Your JavaScript, anything that is not seen. Uh, next down here we see our title. This is what you see up at the top of a web page. So right here on W3Schools, their title is HTML Basic, and then um, Mozilla adds on little Mozilla Firefox. So right here, let's type in test website. Okay, and that will be our, our uh, head, and our head stops there. And then we enter the body tag, body slash body. This is where we show everything that's going to be on our website. So let's go over some simple stuff. Here is our regular body tag. Um, now, if we want to style the body in any way, everything else goes next to it. So let's give it a uh, background color. So right now I'm going to type in BG, which stands for background. Type in color, it's all one word, equals, and then a uh, quotation mark. Now, in HTML, when you're choosing colors, you can put text, like red, blue, green, yellow, whatever. Um, and HTML will automatically convert that to a hexadecimal uh, version of that. But we can get a lot more specific by um, actually choosing the numbers by ourselves. Dreamweaver has this built in, this little color picker. If you're using Notepad++, you will have to go find the actual uh, color code. So let's go with, um, we'll just go with black for, eh, actually, let's not do that. Let's go with this light blue color. 
Uh, and then we want to close our quotation mark, which Dreamweaver does for us. And that's good. So I'm going to go over to design real fast. And you'll see, this is just a preview. Uh, Dreamweaver has a little built-in web browser. It's not very accurate, but it'll work for this tutorial. Um, you can see that it automatically uh, changed the background color of our page to blue. It's simple enough. So just remember, it's tag, style, and then close your tag with the brackets. And then just do the tag with a slash in front of it, basically. That's how you close it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's add text. Um, you can easily type like hello, and it will automatically show up on the page. But what I suggest is putting it in a paragraph tag, which is just a P, and then a slash P. Whoops, wrong tag. And what this will do is um, actually format our text for us. Um, if You won't see it here, but if you had it in some type of confined space, it will automatically, um, if, right, if we just type in H and hold it, this will actually go all the way off to the side of the page and you would have a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your screen. Um, if you use the paragraph tag, it will actually drop it down to the next line once it hits the um, edge of whatever it's inside. Right now it's inside of the body and we did not give the body any type of width constraint. So it would go on forever. Now we could easily just do width equals 100%. Whoops, that is not a percent sign. And there we go, it's 100% of your screen though, so um, that isn't actually as useful as you might think it is. Next, let's add a link. So this one is a little bit obscure. You just type in A, href. I No one actually knows what that stands for. People think it stands for hypertext uh, reference, but we're not really sure. Equals, and then you just want to paste uh, the URL you want this link to go to. So let's just say google.com. And then we want to close that, and then close the tag, slash A. Now in between this tag, you can type in whatever text you want. Click here to go to Google. Okay, so now we have a link. Click here to go to Google. And when we click that, it will go to Google. Can't do that inside Dreamweaver. Actually, you can if you go to live code. And it probably opened up in, nope. It works. Just inside Dreamweaver, it uh, doesn't let us do it. Okay, and I think we can let, we can do tables too, but let's do an image real fast. Uh, start up a new bracket, type in IMG, which stands for image. SRC, this means source, so you have to point this to the URL of your image. Um, so hit equals, quotation, and then if the image is stored on your own server, you would just type it in. Um, I hosted one on Image Shack just to make it easy, so let me paste that in. Quotation, close it, design, and there's our picture. Now, see how right now it says click here to go Google, and the image is right next to it, even though in the code uh, we have them one line apart, so you would think it would go underneath. But uh, HTML doesn't really read it that way, so we have to actually tell it to drop it down. And the way we do that is give it a line break. So we just type in um, another bracket, BR, and close it. Uh, this little slash here is not actually necessary, but Dreamweaver puts it in. Let's go back to the design, and it drops it down. And of course, you can add more of those if you want extra space. So let's just put two more in, just to show you. And now we have more space. Now, what if we want this picture to be a link? So when you click the picture, it goes to Google instead of click here to go to Google. So let's erase that and see what we think. Now, most of you have probably already figured it out. But if you have not, it's just this simple. Take the image HTML. I'm going to control X that to cut it and paste it, design, and right now, see how my uh, arrow changed? This is now a link to Google, the whole picture. Okay, easy enough. That's how you can make simple buttons. Take a picture of a button and just um, make it a link. Okay, and let's uh, really fast go over tables. Tables are pretty easy. Um, just open up a new bracket, hit table, and right now what you could do is set the width, um, and I'm going to do that, so let's do width equals 100 pixels and I'm gonna do the height too so height equals 100 pixels and I'm gonna close that and then just do a slash table <clears throat> alright so now we have a table but there's no contents so inside a table we have table rows and table data which is the cell so let's say we want four squares we're gonna do Table row, 
close the table row, slash, and let's do that one more time. Table row, slash table row. So now we have two rows with no content. Easy enough to fix. TD for table data, and slash TD. And we're just gonna do that twice, because I want two cells in this row. And then I'm gonna do it again to the second row. Okay, so you're probably a little confused. If you take the time to really read this, it makes a lot more sense. So let's look. Here we have our table row, which starts. Here's our table data, slash table data. So in here, let's write cell one. And I'm just gonna do that to all the cells. Table data, slash table data, cell two, down here, cell three, cell four. Let's take a look at it. Right here we have our cells and they are all evenly spaced we, but we can actually manually adjust those using the style tags that I showed you before. Um, but to make this a little bit easier to see let's put a border on that. So I'm just going to type in border equals and we'll just make a two pixel border. Easy enough? Okay so that's the basics. Um, you could pretty much design a very, very simple website um, from what you have here. Um, next tutorial, I'm going to jump a little bit, be a little bit more advanced. Um, I just want to show you guys the tools and maybe get you a small understanding. If you really want to get into this and really make a uh, nice website, it's the one I'm working on right now. Um, actually, going to be selling this eventually. Uh, this uses a lot of JavaScript and everything, but I mean, you could easily be making websites. Uh, you know, very. I mean, this code is actually fairly short. Let me see if I can... So, I mean, it, it only took that much writing to make this uh, website right here. So, this could be really fun, and you can make a lot of money off of it. Um, so, go to the W3 schools, read ahead if you don't know enough HTML, because um, I am going to be taking quite a jump further uh, next tutorial. I'm probably going to jump into CSS right away. Um, and... If you guys don't want these tutorials, you know, I'll notice by how many views it gets. So we might just skip it all together. It totally depends. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you next Thursday. Uh, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.